welcome back to my channel you guys lynn here with another brand new video for today i'm going to be doing a thanksgiving tablescape and i'm super excited to share all of the diys that i'm going to be doing for that but first let me just say hello to all my current subscribers um, i'm super excited that you guys are here i hope that you guys are enjoying the content do make sure that you're watching the videos and turning on your notifications so that you can be aware every time that i post a new video um, and if you are new to the channel do make sure that you join this diy community we would love to have you here I really appreciate Thanksgiving because it is a time that gathers everyone together and brings everyone around the table and I love setting up for it. So I wanted to start with a blank slate so that I can think about the ideas that I wanted to do. Um, so first I got out my tablecloth and um, because it's been washed it's gotten really wrinkled so I'm just going to go in with an iron and just kind of iron out the wrinkles and make sure that everything is set. Um, but I just wanted to make sure that I had some ideas in place for how I was envisioning the table to look. What I'm going to do with the iron is I'm going to set it to steam and I'm going to set it to linen so that I can iron out all of those wrinkles. And I don't want you to go, my golden girl, I need you so, and I just want you to know. How much I love, I love you so oh, oh, oh. My golden girl, girl And it took some time to know These feelings in my heart, I love you so And it took some time to grow When we are apart I miss you so oh, oh, oh. My golden girl, girl Never thought I'd find you here I think it's gonna be a good year My golden girl After ironing and letting the tablecloth dry, I jumped right into um, thinking about a runner. So I wanted to use some scotch um, wrapping paper. This you can find at the dollar store. It is super inexpensive. So I wanted to just use that as my centerpiece. So I made sure to cut it down to the size that I needed and um, I just unwrapped it and I just unrolled it in the middle of the table just to give it some dimension and I liked how it turned out. And I don't want you to see when I'm feeling down that part of me and I just want you to be with me all the time I love you so oh, oh. Okay, so this is the part of the project that was definitely a little bit challenging, but I was looking around for a centerpiece and I found this styrofoam piece that we had in a package that we received, but I did find out the wrong way that spray paint and styrofoam do not mix together, so I would not recommend doing this at all. Um, but the only reason why the spray paint didn't completely eat away at the styrofoam was because I only sprayed light coats of it. So if you were, not that I'm recommending it, but if you were to do this, I would spray very light coats of it on there. Um, next time though, I definitely would have just hand painted the styrofoam the color that I wanted it to be um so yeah it definitely turned out it looked great i had to let it sit out for a little bit um when you use spray paint on you know centerpieces or different things like that do make sure that you let it air out um just so that um it doesn't really you know like sync up your de decorations and everything so i definitely had to let it sit out for a little bit and this was very helpful so um yeah keep on watching Stay tonight, I need 
you so won't you stay a while after realizing my mistake with the styrofoam and spray paint dilemma this is what it came out to look like um the reason why i used this was because i like the shape of it so i definitely think it turned out great um for the shape definitely um but yeah like i said i would not recommend spray painting it so that was my mistake but um, now that I have this centerpiece, it made everything else easier for me. So I am going to jump right into using some dry florals. And you guys know how I feel about those. I really like them. I felt like it pulled the fall theme together beautifully. I'm going to use this jar from Dollar Tree. They're really cute. Um, $1.25 right now. So you guys can definitely um, give those a try. And um this glass was a beaker from the Halloween decorations. This was from um, Target, but I definitely didn't use it. So um, you guys can definitely try out different shapes, different sizes, different things that you guys like. Um, for me, I like a lot of different textures and such. So when I'm decorating, that's what I kind of go for. These fabric pumpkins I'm going to be using in here are pumpkins that I made a tutorial for. So you guys should definitely check that out. I'm going to um tag that in the video here so you guys should definitely look at that if you haven't seen it yet but um yeah so i'm gonna keep decorating um definitely it's trial and error adding things taking things away um and just kind of seeing what looks good together so let's keep going with that After setting up the centerpiece, I wanted to add one more thing to make it um, just a lot more glam. I found these tubes from previous packages that we had and I decided to spray paint them gold and um, they came out really cute. I love the concept of them. Um, I just thought it added some height to the centerpiece. So keep on watching to see how they turned out. It's 
Thanks. Uh-huh. 